G'day folks, Chris Jansen and Marco Felgavari here from EXP Realty and we're in the heart of Manapara West here Marco, right in the corner of Stebbin Heath, Peerless Road behind us and we're going to talk to you about a development property that we've just sold behind us here at 975 Stebbin Heath Road in Manapara West. Marco, what can you tell us about this project? We're going to talk to you folks a little bit about our clients, what they experienced before the property actually came onto the market what we did for them from a due diligence development potential project point of view, and more importantly, what the end result was. So what can you tell us about 975, mate? Well, first things first, I think we were having a chat as well as the uh, the owners themselves were having a chat about this property. They came to us and they were a bit puzzled about this whole scenario. Yep. Being 2,037 square metres, corner block, obviously yep. offered, offered lots of potential for development, but they were puzzled about what was going on. They did have previously an offer from a developer off market trying to purchase the property yeah. and essentially it came to us to, to discuss you know, what this actual site had to offer yep. because as homeowners, um, they had no idea. And that's pretty common folks, a lot of mums and dads sitting on some prized parcel of land, over 2,000 square metres here. This was their main owner occupant home, yeah. their residence, and as you can see behind us, there's a four bedroom, two bathroom, two living area home. So when they were approached by a developer off site, they had some initial interest around that 750 to 800 range. They came to us, we've sold for their family a number of times now, and they said, where do you guys think it sits? And we said, yep. look guys, we're not here to promise price, but we do have a process that looks at the due diligence and the feasibility of what can potentially be achieved, not from an established home, but the entire site. So for the viewers out there, Marco, because you're the expert when it comes to large parcels of land like this, we collaborated on this listing together. Talk to us a little bit about what you do behind the scenes on a feasibility analysis, because yep. it's a different approach. You're not it just is. chucking an established house on the market on realestate.com running open inspections. It's a whole different strategy. It's a different buyer type. So how do you position it to really tailor it for that right astute buyer that needs the home, yes, but the development prospect as well? I guess the difference that we do here at EXP and what I do for our vendors uh, in terms of development and investment such as this, I look at it like a developer. I've done now probably 12 years worth of developments and large parcels, anything from one into two into say 50 to 100. Yep. Um, we've even looked as big as 300 in this area. And so you've got to look at a lot of things in these in these parcels. So number one, you've got to have a look at the, the, the block of land. Is it zoned right? Okay. You know, is is the, in terms of like, is there encumbrances, is there easement? Yep. Are your services in the right place? Um, and then finally, what other things, like with this site here, we did have a few issues as well. There's light posts, there's also parking. Access. And access to the actual site itself. Yep. And that makes a massive difference. So so what I did with this site here is essentially, I've, I've got a large uh, spreadsheet and I plug my numbers in, but I've also got another program as well, which is a development program, but I also use my eyes. So with this site here, we had a house at the front, we had dual access, and then I start pulling it apart and going, how many blocks can we get? Uh, what kind of services do we have on this site here that I can connect, whether it's gas, power, and so on, water, yep. and, and, and is it accessible? Because that's a big one as well. A lot of, a lot of people uh, buy a corner block subdivision going, you beauty. But then they don't actually look at if there's gas lines or power lines yeah. or water lines yep. going all the way to both sides. Yep. So what happens is if it's not on both sides and you actually have to bring power, line, power lines or gas or any of those kind of things up the street, it could cost you close to $10,000 per meter, oh, which kind big. of really chews into your development. That throws so, the project budget out. So going back to this, our, our client Simon um, and Mary, they said, Marco, what's, what's going on here? I had a look at it and we had essentially, we could do potentially three blocks at the back, maybe maybe four blocks, and while keeping the house itself. Then I pulled it apart. Then I go, how much is a road gonna cost here? How much is subdivision gonna cost? What's capital gains? And I literally looked at it like a developer. Yeah. Okay, and then not only that, I go, what does a developer stand to make here uh, in terms of 10%, 15%? So I also put that in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So making sure the developer, whoever was purchasing it, is actually going to uh, make some money here. And then I worked out a final price point. What yeah. number actually works yeah. for, our, for our developer? If we put it onto the marketplace, and what we actually ascertained was a completely different number from what the investor or the developer was trying to purchase this property for off market. Yeah. So then we came back to our vendors and Chris and my, uh, myself went back to the vendors, Mary and, um, and uh, Simon, and we actually told them we're actually really comfortable at this number. Not only that, but when we're actually going onto the marketplace or about to go to another developer investor, we've already got 
all of our feasibility, yeah. all of our numbers. We've also got the block and how it's all going to sit. Yeah. And then we can actually then send it to our, our developers. Because one thing developers really don't like with real estate agents, hey, guess what, Mr. Developer, I've got a block, have a look at this. And they've got, they're so busy themselves. What an actual investor and developer wants, go have a look at this block, have a look at the numbers, I've already done the spreadsheet for you, I've already done the subdivision I potentially. Love I love it. And go, here you go, here's a package for you. Guess what, within five or six seconds, that developer looks at everything and they go, bang, no worries, Marco, we're sending money. Well, they're astute people. And it's a balancing act because Simon and Mary here are mum and dad that we're representing. That's right. Selling their family home. Now, you sell this established home to another owner, occupant buyer, it's only going to achieve a certain price, right? right? Obviously, a developer, very astute, they're looking at the profit, the margin at the end of the project. And what I loved about this, mate, is you really tailored it, made it simple for a developer. You had all the information readily available to go. You approach them. We've done our due diligence. You're talking their language. Yep. And you're looking at the end project. Because obviously, mum and dad, they want as much money on the way out. But a developer can understand that too. But they also want to make as much percentage in the margin at the end of the project, whether it's 10, 15, 70%, whatever it might be. So you really being able to peel all the layers of the onion back and look at it from a, not a price paying to the owners here on the way in when they're selling, but what is the price point that gets the developer the margin for the risk that they take? Because let's be honest, the developer inherits a lot of risk here. Mm. Planning approvals, time frames, mortgage repayments, interest, capital gains. Is the tenant gonna pay rent on time or not? Um, can I get three or can I get four? Absolutely. So there's a lot of stuff and holding costs, mate. This can take some, what, 18, 24 months generally? Correct. Interest rates and stuff like that. But I guess in developer talk, they simply put it this way. Is there enough meat on the boat? On the boat. <laughs> That's all they want. It's as simple as that. But at the same time, does it, does it work for our vendors as well? So a real life case study here, guys. We had off-market interest from an astute developer between 750 to 8. Marco and I did the due diligence, full feasibility. It takes us about a week yeah. because there's a lot of work that happens behind the scenes, folks. Like I said, this isn't just like taking- Talking to councils, having not, a look at the site. Exactly, you know. mate. We're not taking some photos and putting that signboard out the front there, printing off some brochures and running open inspections. Like, we've got to position it so we're talking the developer's language. Absolutely. Um, make it really seamless, quick and easy for them to make really quick decisions because they're astute. In terms of the outcome, mate, we were on the market for one week. We <laughs> had six fantastic. offers. It was and fantastic. the property is settling for? Uh, $960,000. $960,000, folks, which is a per square metre record rate here in Manapara West. So if you're ever looking at future divisions, if you're sitting on a large parcel of land and you're thinking, it's a bit too much upkeep, I want to move, maybe I want to downsize, because there's a lot of original farmers still out this way, European farmers that are sitting on five, 10 acres. You're talking yep. to them from Two Wells to Lewiston of Absolutely. the Lights and beyond. Um, what would be your words of encouragement to them to reach out to you if they're sort of sitting on the fence, been at the same location for 30, 40 years? Do I move, don't I move? What's the first step to take with yourself? I guess like with, with anything, uh, while this truck goes past. Always the way. The development's <laughs> happening as we speak. Yeah, we're gonna show you guys and girls, we're gonna take you on a tour. Um, we're gonna share some drone footage, obviously, what's happening in this area, because it is exciting. There's not much land available here. It's pushing further out north, it's but if someone... Yeah, so essentially, like with everything, uh, when you're getting finance, uh, finance check, you're looking at finance, you're talking to a mortgage broker and so on and so forth. I guess due to the fact that I've got this experience, complimentary, it's not gonna cost you anything. You come talk to us, yeah. right? I can have a look at the site for you. I can put together this feasibility schedule completely, yeah. and then I can tell you exactly how much your site is going to be worth. And then from there on, if you're feeling comfortable, or you wanna hold back or whatever it might be, either you do it for yourself or you sell it off to, to a developer. But at least that way there, you've got a bit of an understanding of which way you're gonna go. 100%. You know, there's, there's other things that in terms of, some people don't wanna move them inside, from their sites. Yep. So what we can actually do is they go, okay, well we can peel off a little parcel for yourself. Yep. Talk to an investor or developer, which they're more than happy to do. Yep. Right, and then we can sell it as a, as a part parcel, part sale um, situation as well. Yeah. Or like with Simon Mary, where they've got no real idea, you know, come have a chat to us. I'll pull it all apart for you. It's not going to cost you anything. Yep. And then from there onwards, you're better kind of situated on, on pricing and where you're going to go in the future. For sure. I love it, mate. The right advice is priceless. It's absolutely free. We're in the business of relationships. Yep. Um, and it's not just about getting a for sale sign board here. We are happy to meet with you guys and girls if you're sitting on a large parcel of land to do our due diligence and actually show you. Put us to work first of how we position properties just like this one behind us here. We're happy to do the same for yourself. And as Marco said, whether you want to sell the 
entire parcel of land, or maybe you want to chop it up and still build and reside on a small parcel yourself and reap the rewards from developing the remaining, remainder parcel of land that you own, we can look at it many different ways. Absolutely. But, um, just get in contact, guys. We'll drop our contact details down below. Chris Jansen, EXP Realty, 0423 283 265. And Mark F. Felicvaro, your development NDIS specialist, 0426 640 Thanks for joining us on this live on location, real life result, and a massive development uh, outcome here at 975 Stephen High five on that one. Manapara West, well done. <laughs> Thanks guys, have a good one. Cheers, Chat to you easy. soon. Bye for now.